everyone, my name is Sam and welcome to my channel Chefish, where I will be cooking the foods I grew up eating. Today we are making kubana, a traditional Yemenite Jewish bread. It is very delicious. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Let's get started. We have 550 grams of all-purpose flour. We have 365 grams of water. We have 60 grams of sugar, three teaspoons of salt. We have about a tablespoon of oil for our surface. And this is fresh yeast. You can use active dry yeast. Just make sure that it works by mixing it with some water and sugar first. Finally, we have a stick of butter, which we are going to melt completely. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get started with making the dough. I'm gonna grab my stand mixer. I'm gonna add my flour, my sugar, my yeast, and my water. And I'm gonna mix this without the salt for a few minutes to get it to come together. Once it's kind of together like this, we are going to add our salt. And after the salt, we're going to knead it for about five minutes until we achieve a nice soft and supple dough that's a little bit sticky. Now we're going to grease a bowl. Grease your hands as well. It's gonna make it easier to handle the sticky dough. Transfer it from the mixer bowl into this uh, greased bowl. Bowl it up a bit, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then just cover it with a tea towel or some plastic wrap for about half an hour or until it doubles in size. Bring it back and we are going to transfer the dough from the bowl onto our surface. But first, just make sure to oil it a bit so the dough doesn't stick to your surface, make it a bit easier to handle. You're gonna get about a kilo of dough, so separate it into five equal pieces of 200 grams each. And I'm just gonna do that quickly. Now, grab each one, and we're going to roll them into bowls. It's not that hard. What I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the edges and I'm picking them up and folding them in, and then using my left hand to tuck them. So pick up the sides, fold, tuck, rotate, pick up the sides, fold, tuck, bring in all those little edges, and then we're just gonna cover all five of these uh, pieces of dough, and we're gonna let them relax for about 15 minutes. We're not looking to proof them, uh, we're just trying to get them to relax a bit. While they relax, we're gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees and melt our butter to liquid form. We are going to grab our pot. I am using a Jochen pot. You do not have to use one. You can use any three quart stainless steel pot. It will work just as well. If you can find a Jochen pot and you wanna buy it, go for it. Now, regardless of what pot you use, we wanna make sure that the pot is uh, greased very well. So just grab a brush, brush every crevice, brush the cover of the pot as well. We just wanna make sure that the kubana doesn't stick and is easy to remove when we're done baking. Now you're going to repeat the same step for each piece of dough. You're going to oil your surface. You're going to stretch out the dough into about a 12 inch diameter. It does not have to be perfect and you don't need a rolling pin. It's going to be so easy. Grab some butter. I'm using my hand. Use a brush if you'd prefer. And then you're just going to do a tri-fold and butter each fold. So just like a letter and then roll it up like a cinnamon roll. All right, and we're going to place it in the pot with the rest of the pieces. They're going to proof. We're going to let these proof in the pot for about 20 to 30 minutes before we actually bake them. You want them to reach about the top of the pot. Before we let them proof though, we're going to just pour the rest of our butter on the tops. All right, so these are proofed. Uh, as you can see, they kind of pushed into each other and they rose up the pot a bit. We're going to cover it and we're just gonna place it on a cookie sheet or a piece of silver foil to catch any butter drippings. Bake it for 25 minutes at the 375, then drop the heat to 325 degrees and let it go for another hour. Now I'm gonna show you why all that hard work is totally worth it and if anybody tells you that it's not, then they totally suck because they have no idea what they're talking about and this is like the best bread that you'll ever eat in your life because it already has butter in it. Like you don't even have to butter this bread. It's just ready to go. Like all you have to do is take it and spread it with something else other than butter and just eat it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy making this and I hope you like and you subscribe and you follow my Instagram page and my Facebook page because I have so many cool videos and so many cool recipes to share with all of you. Okay, bye.